Hi students, let us continue with the topic uh, stack organization. In the previous video, I explained about the basic concept of the stack. Uh, now let us see the different types of stack. The first one is a register stack and the next is a memory stack. Now let us see what is a register stack. So register is a memory, uh, it's a small temporary device, okay, memory device which holds the data which is connected to the CPU. Now, the operations that are performed in the register stack are first is a push operation. Let us see what is this push operation. So, push operation means here the steps it follows is stack pointer will increment it by 1. Means it incre increments stack pointer. So, whatever the data that you want to be inserted, that should be in top of the stack. That is the data registered. That should be in top of the stack. So, this equation represents the right to the stack. The data should be entered into the stack. Whatever the data that should be placed in the stack pointer, top of the stack pointer. Now, you have to check whether the stack is full or not. If stack pointer is 0, then 1 in stored in the full. It means the stack is full. It indicates the stack is full. Check if stack is full or not. So, whenever it is full, you have to see empty is 0. It indicates mark not empty so whenever the stack is full obviously the stack is not empty here the stack is completely sets with data a b c okay here the stack is full so it indicates empty tends to zero zero will be stored in the empty means mark not empty zero means it indicates it is not empty means some data is already there in the stack so this is a push operation now let us see the pop operation pop operation so what are the steps that are indicated in pop so if stack not empty then means uh, empty should be zero whenever the stack is not empty then only you have to do the operation so now the stack is full now you have to perform pop operation in this stack it indicates this this is empty tends to zero now first i want to read the data that is present on top of this stack so, whatever the data that is present in the top of the stack, that will be placed in the data register. Means read, read item from the stack. Okay, I read the first element C on top of the stack and placed in the data register. Now, I want to decrement the stack pointer, SP minus 1. Stack point is equal to stack minus 1. Decrement stack point after that i have to check whether the stack is empty or not so to check stack is empty or not you have to mark it is whenever the stack is empty that indicates it one so it is checked if stack is empty or not so whenever the stack is empty it indicates full is zero means mark not full then mark it not full. Whenever the stack becomes empty, then it indicates no data is present. It is not full. It is not full. So, this indicates the stack is empty and mark not full. So, these are the pop operations. So, how these push and pop or operations will be stored in the register stack? Let us see in diagram. So let's take the stack organization of 64 word register stack. Here I am taking register stack. So let's take this is a register stack. So here the data register, whatever the data that you want to be 
insert into the stack that data is present here 0 1 2 3 4 so and the one location a inserted b c so this indicates the stack point top of the stack okay so here first it push a push b push c so now the stack pointer is c so it will be from 0 to 63 words 63 words will be stored in this register stack so this nothing but you call it as address it indicates the address okay so this is how the data is organized in the register stack a registry is 0 to 64 63 total 64 words okay so in each uh, the day bit the data is inserting now let us see a memory stack the second one is memory stack so what are the operations for memory stack same the push operation and pop operation but here in the memory First, if you want to push the data into memory, you have to decrement the stack pointer and the data, whatever you want to be placed, that should be placed on the decremented stack pointer place in the same way, pop operation, pop operation. So, in the pop operation, first you have to place the data, whatever that is present on the top of the stack into the data register and then increment the stack pointer so here the first item stored at address let me uh, explain with the diagram here you can see this is a memory unit so i said when compared to the registry unit the memory unit is uh, uh, stores large amount of uh, data so this is a memory unit so we are talking about the memory stack so, in the memory unit, the first you are having the program instruction. This is a program, nothing but instructions. So, after that it occupies the data, means the operands, whatever the operands it wants to be used, the operands and then its stack, occupies the stack. The total memory unit is divided into three parts. Once it stores it, one part it stores the program instructions data operands next is a stack so here the program instruction always point, stores in the program counter means what instruction to be executed next that will be stored in the program counter so data register identified by the address register based on the address register you can identify the operands that are present in the memory unit now coming to the stack point so first this is 4000 location 4001 3999 so each bit is stored in one register one location 3998 3997 so up to 3000 from 4000 to 3000 this memory is used for the stack operations and here uh, up to from the list is a thousand okay this is the address address is incrementing from uh, program instruction to the stack so here we start here means inserting the data is from here start here so start here okay so here the stack will be decrementing so this is let let you take this is a stack point okay so here the first item stored at address 4000 whenever it stores the data at uh, 4000 if you want to uh, it is storing the data in this in this example let me write this point if you observe in this example stack grows with decreasing the address with decreasing the address so in the memory unit the stack is growing with the decreasing the memory address this is a 4000 so next sorry 4001 this is 4000 4001 4000 
3999 means whenever the stack is growing means inserting the values inserting values the address is decreasing so that's why we are decrementing the stack point the stack in the push operation whenever you're pushing the data automatically the stack pointer is decrementing so that's why first you have to make stack pointer minus one and place the data register value in the top of the stack first item stored is at address 4000 here is item is stored first so after that the last item that can be used in 3000 location so up to 3000 location the data can be stored after that you can say the stack is full so it has to be increment decremented the address has to be decremented while you are pushing the data in the memory unit so this is the difference between the stack uh, register stack and the memory stack thank you